Today we're gonna wallpaper this wall with a wallpaper that's around the rest of the room. We will be using paste instead of peel and stick, which is more messy, but it does last longer. This video is not sponsored, but I was gifted this wallpaper and I'll leave the link below if you'd like to check it out. This is what the rest of the room looks like. All other walls are wallpapered in this beautiful chinoiserie. I thought I would save money and just do an accent wall here, but now that I have the wallpaper, I'm excited to see how it looks. helmet to take a curtain rod down. I do have the tool to do this, but I kind of like to do it with by hand. I find to get it a little bit smoother. I'm going to wipe down the base boards, make sure everything is clean. Next is taking off all the outlet covers. I bought this chinoiserie paper on Etsy. The quality is not great. It's basically like thick paper and has no sheen to it. So I was excited. Um, so this is by Photo Wall. I did a project with them for my blog. So I'm under no obligation to share it here, but they were a great company to work with and the paper is great quality. So I'm very happy about that. So let's go over the tools. So these are the tools I'm using today. Obviously we have the paper. Um, the company sent me paste I can mix up and this brush, but I'm gonna, I had this in the garage, pre-mixed wallpaper paste and I'm gonna use a roller cause I think it's faster. So we'll see how far this gets me and then I might have to use the paste they sent. Need a nice big measuring tape, a utility knife, pencil, um, I water in the spray bottle, a level, and then these two are kind of optional in my opinion. They sent me these, so I'm gonna use those and see if they help, but you can also just use your hand. I forgot scissors. You need scissors. So it's one long panel and I'm gonna trim this and then trim the little tag off the top. Looks like our very first piece is going to be complicated because um, this is a, a molding that I put up and you can, I wonder if, no, that's on there pretty good. I'm not taking that off. But um, you, I just glued it up there with liquid nails. So um, that's one way to do molding, but I'm gonna have to cut around it and I'm gonna use my utility knife. Oh, and a quick trick. So the bottom of the utility knife comes off and you can sharpen your blade by putting it on there like this, and then you just snap it off. See if you can see that. So you just snap it off like that. Okay, I'm gonna load my roller up. You know what? Oh, I'm gonna get a ponytail holder. So I started recording right away as I did the first panels over here, but there was a strange molding, made it difficult. So let's just start with a simple straight piece of wallpaper with no outlets, no windows, because I started filming with the first panel and I think it was confusing. So let's, I'm gonna start over. First, I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm sorry it's such a cloudy day. It's kind of dark in here. And I'm going to put up where the roller, put the paste up where the roller won't reach. Put it on pretty thick because I don't want it peeling at the top. Then I will take the roller of paste. Get a nice, thick enough coat on there. The paper that they make nowadays is better quality and the glue isn't as sticky as it was in decades past. So this shouldn't be too difficult to take down. 
Although I really like this paper. I I'm, can't imagine wanting to change it soon. Okay, now I'm gonna take the brush and go along the bottom here. Now it's really dark, huh? Now I'm gonna give everything a spray just to make sure it stays. I'll start at the top. We always hang the paper left to right. This paper does not overlap, it just matches up. I find that when the paper overlaps, it's very difficult. So the top looks okay, but I'm gonna need to grab my level and make sure that it's straight because if it gets off, then the whole trajectory starts to go wonky. So let's see how level we are. We're good. Okay. So, going. So if you're doing an accent wall and you don't, I mean, an outlet is, is easy enough. Um, windows can be a little more tricky. Slanted angled walls can be a little more tricky, but just as a uh, accent wall, you can definitely do it. I say that and look, this is off just a little bit. We will make it work. Come on. You just gotta play with it. Fudge a little if you have to. It's okay if you have to take it up and restart. All right, there we go. And take my utility knife and this straight edge. I'm going to go like this. And cut a straight line across the bottom where the baseboard is. There we go. So now I'm going to take this brush. Oh, it's like exercise here. I'm going to smooth out everything. I just looked at the clock. I have an hour before I have to pick up my elementary school kids. So I'm hoping to knock this out and even um, paint in here. So that would mean that I've spent four hours on this project, including painting. Hopefully I get that done. So now we're gonna do this. It's a little more complicated because we have the molding here and we have an outlet. So I'll show you how I do that. Get our paste up here. It's been a while since I did a DIY that I'm in a hurry for because I gotta get the kids at the bus stop. When we first moved into our house, I was like DIYing every day and frantically the last one to the bus stop. But as our house, with each project, I love our house more and more, so I'm just not doing as much of them lately. I'm glad I didn't decide to do the inside of the windows because that would have taken forever. I'm just going to work the paper around whatever the object is and kind of fold it in, kind of crease it. I'm going to work my way with my knife around this fancy molding. <laughs> That's not expert wallpaper work right there. But this molding is crazy. So I'm gonna be okay with that and I'll go in with some white paint. No one will notice. You know what, you kind of sometimes just have to come up with whatever method works for you. And right now I have the sun coming through. 
and I can see where the window is. So I'm going to just, you know, you improvise. improvise. I'm going to mark along this and use the scissors because the scissors can be more, more precise than the exacto knife sometimes on the wet paper. So now we've come to where the outlet is under here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of frame out where it is. And this doesn't have to be perfect because you know the cover is gonna cover it up. The cover's gonna cover it up, so the cover does. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to boldly cut in the middle. Just take a peek behind, make sure I don't go too far. She can take more off, but she can't. Wait, wait, wait. Careful, girl. I got a little out of bounds here. Okay. And over here. Over here. should work. I have to leave and go get those kiddos. Okay, dropped off our little neighbor. I have 30 minutes before I have to go pick up my middle schooler. So I'm gonna see if I can do the white paint in that time. 